It's now in the hands of state lawmakers. Representative Chuck Clements followed through with his promise to file a bill to give the state control over GRU. TV 20's Zilali Solace tells us why one city leader says it's not what she was hoping for. Newberry Representative Chuck Clemens filed this bill on Monday. And if passed, it would give Gainesville Regional Utilities a governor appointed board of five members. The fear mongering and the propaganda that has been espoused uh, by the city commissioners, uh, that, that day's over. The state has stepped in. We're going to make sure that this utility is run properly. The five board members would include three people with expertise in utility operations, one commercial customer, and one customer who lives outside city limits. Each board member would oversee the utility for a four-year term. Gainesville Regional Utilities, under the bad decisions of the various city commissions, currently has an 18% debt, 18% uh, equity position, which is it's, it's very bad. The bill would also prevent city officials from transferring more money than it makes each year into the city's general fund. I'm very, very disappointed. City Commissioner Cynthia Chestnut says she's concerned because she says city leaders were already addressing issues that needed to be resolved. They will be able to raise rates without a word from the people. Who will the board be accountable to? City leaders are facing more than a billion dollars worth of GRU debt, which Chestnut says is already being addressed. We will continue to work to uh, address the general fund transfer, to work to reduce the debt of GRU because we owe that to the citizens. Clemens says he feels confident the bill will be signed by the governor before the legislative session ends on May 5th. Zitlali Solace, TV 20 News.